Today's topic is nutrition in pregnancy. Now, what are the learning objectives in this requirement in pregnancy? How much it is required? How to take the detailed history and the assess of the uh, delivery, counseling, and importance of nutrition. Now, there are many myths in this. So, the uh, topics. What I am going to speak is food myths, history taking, physiological changes in pregnancy. how much it is required food is required in pregnancy diet weight gain how much it is required in pregnancy information of, of about the macronutrients information about micronutrients common problems in pregnancy what we should do what we should not do so do's and don'ts in pregnancy customs in pregnancy and at the end there are mcqs which you have to answer so listen the lecture carefully now eat the food like medicine otherwise medicine will become your food so you have to eat the right food then only it is useful otherwise you will one may fall sick now what are the food myths in pregnancy eat for two so elders in the family they say one more baby is growing so eat for two it's not necessary however whatever is necessary for you that much only you can eat if you eat excess then one may vomit increased food and increased baby weight some people think if they go on eating then there is a uh, the uh, baby will grow well so go on eating that's also not correct fruits if you re- eat fruits it causes common cold that is not true fruits contains vitamins so that is necessary for the body ghee this is everybody thinks ghee is highly nutritious so lot of ghee they give so that is the not right food so what is necessary that much only they have to eat so uh, fried things in ghee and uh, they make compulsory to eat ghee every day saffron many people use saffron in the milk thinking that baby will become fair it is not true the color of the baby depends on the color of the husband and wife or their family it doesn't depend on the saffron it won't change the color then if you eat black colored food baby will become black for example urad dal if you eat baby will become black and if you eat white food then baby will become white or fair that is also not true it depends it doesn't depend on the color of the food what you eat it it is genetic so it uh, it is doesn't depend on the t- type of food you eat coconut and gourd so if you eat big uh, coconut or gourd then your baby's head will become big then it becomes very difficult for the delivery so that is also not correct now if you eat prasad of ganpati so baby may become dull so uh, some people they don't uh, uh, eat ganpati prasadam that's not correct it prasadam is prasadam whoever god it is it's okay you, have, you can eat and then some people they want to eat less because baby becomes small and delivery becomes easy so better to eat less so eating too much is also bad, bad not correct eating too much less is also not correct these are all the food myths so uh, then what is correct that you have to see now now principles now we have to educate the patient what is balanced diet so balanced diet means it should contain everything that you have to tell her not the ghee not the saffron uh, then diet for both mother and baby so uh, the for the growth of the baby and the for the strength of the mother the diet is necessary but they have to eat right diet so it is for the maternal health and she need needs lot of strength to carry this baby 9 to 11 kg uh, weight she will gain so the uh, to carry that much of weight she needs lot of strength and she also needs uh, strength for delivery and during pregnancy in the first trimester there is a cell division because baby has to grow so there is proliferation of the cells and in the sec- uh, subsequent second and third trimester there is a rapid growth there is a Uh, bony growth and there is a soft tissue growth nervous system everything grows so they need lot of strength and then during labor they need they because they do heavy exercise baby has to be pushed from inside to outside it is a heavy exercise that's why they have to eat uh, correct food and in correct quantity and uh, you know, not only after, uh, for the delivery even after labor there is a work for the mother what is that lactation for the lactation again she needs lot of strength so she has to eat a little bit more only not less after delivery now for fetal origin of adult disease so baby weight is less lbw low birth weight baby and big baby what happens if there's a baby is programmed in utero 
so how it is programmed low birth weight baby stunted growth in the pregnancy is stunted growth of the mother stunted growth of the baby so then less uh, uh, weight gain in the pregnancy and as a result baby weight will be less and when the baby weight is less again there is a increased mortality and morbidity if the baby survives then again this baby also weight baby, baby and again stunted growth and it will give rise to <coughs> or give birth to another low birth weight baby so this is a cycle this cycle continues so what the barker says let be if there is a baby is low birth weight baby in them the congenital heart disease is more and then diabetes is more hypertension is more so better to have good food in the adolescent age group now stunted growth what i told just now same thing stunted growth so morbidity and then baby survives lbw and then it becomes pregnant and then again because it's you can't eat more weight gain is less again it gives rise to or give birth to the low weight uh, low birth weight baby and this again the cycle continues now there are some questions whether to start or when to consult, consult the doctor is it uh, we have to ask many questions to the patient also whether it is preconceptionally it is planned is it planned pregnancy or accidental pregnancy so because in some diseases we have to plan even in preconception so from preconception itself we have to take many uh, the folic acid sometimes aspirin that's why we have to ask is uh, when she has planned or it's a planned pregnancy or unplanned pregnancy if it is accidental pregnancy not planned one then there may be some deficiency is she veg- vegetarian if she is vegetarian you have to tell about the diet who is she is uh, vegetarian only you can't tell me you uh, meat contains lot of protein you have to eat meat no that's not correct and then how often she should eat that's a question how often how much and what you should eat so she may ask this question so you have to answer how often she should eat whether she is diabetic if she is diabetic then you have to split the meal three snacks and three meals like that and then otherwise you need not split then how much she should eat quantity you have to tell if you tell 150 g 200 g that is not correct so she may no one will keep the balance in their uh, weighing machine in their house so better to tell how many chapatis how much of rice how much katori of sabji like that and then what she should eat that we should tell and then you ask the question where do you eat do you eat inside the house do you go to hotel and eat if she is a working lady she may may eat at home or she may eat in the hotel so that's why you have to ask these questions smoking and drinking actually they they don't come in nutrition but still you have to ask these questions because alcohol affects the weight of the woman and also nutrients and smoking alters the taste of the food both active and passive smoking affects the weight of the baby and beverage is what she is drinking and then the easy eating seafood because sometimes seafood is also not good it contains a lot of uh, this um, mercury so we have to ask then eating food outside so once in a while they may go to hotel and eat so all these things we have to take into consideration before advising the uh, nutrition now what are the problems in pregnancy now whatever she eats you mic- micronutrient means less than 100 mg now what we eat that micronutrient that is also diluted because of the increased blood volume and then heartburn now heartburn because the growing uterus comes up and up so as a result what happens there will be heartburn that she should avoid how to avoid that we have to tell then unplanned pregnancy so on pregnancy is not planned so so she is not taking folic acid from the beginning then we have what how much she should take how to supplement uh, what diet she should eat that we have to explain if there are multiple pregnancy then demand is more so in these cases uh, better to give as to eat extra and the medicine also we have to change and then if she is doing heavy work if she is a light worker on table work then it's okay if she is doing heavy work we have to give Uh, the prescription for the more food then malabsorption syndrome whatever she is taking from one end it is going from other end so we have to treat it and uh, tell her what she should eat and if she is she is eating well but sometimes they may have vomiting and some may have hyperemesis gravidarum too much of vomiting they may not retain anything in their stomach so what uh, food supplement we have to give that we have to tell them now what are the physiological changes that take place in pregnancy one is the 
increased gastrointestinal uh, increased metabolic rate bmi of the pregnant woman is increased so that's one next is gastrointestinal changes so the bowel habits are changed so she may have constipation because of the progesterone or she may have more vomiting so the gastrointestinal system is also changed and then secretions uh, in the gastrointestinal intestinal tract is also changed and the change of body fluid now there is a increased accumulation of the fluid in the body and there is a increased rbc production and increased blood volume also change uh, all these changes take place then hormonal changes so there, there is a lot of uh, uh, this um, human placenta occlusion progesterone estrogen they are secreted from the placenta and they play a role in pregnancy so we have to think that also because of that hormones so many changes take place in the body alter renal function so glomerular filtration rate is increased and then the uh, urine production is increased so we have to uh, think what drug you have if you drink give drug how much what is the dose how, what drug is altered that we have to think now next is gingival modification all of you know that during pregnancy there will be, there will be hyperplasia of the uh, gingiva so if she eats some sweetener then it may, it may stick for example chocolate and all that she eats then it becomes sticky gingival then she may get uh, infection so or if you brush rinsing sometimes she may bleed so and then arrows you drink then also she may bleed so one has to think what she should uh, take the beverages she should uh, take what she should eat how to brush the teeth etc